welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Joe Beretta. It's bad enough we have to worry about earthquakes, floods, tornadoes, tsunamis, and other earthly disasters. Now we have something called a solar superstorm to get all freaked out about. Why don't you tell our wonderful viewers about it, Joe? No. Yeah. I don't want. Come on. Okay, sure, I'll read some words. <laughs> According to the National Academy of Sciences, the impending solar superstorm, which is a monster blast of geomagnetic particles sent from the sun, could destroy 300 or more of the 2,000 high voltage transformers that make up the U.S. electric grid. Yeah, and apparently there are federal agencies that actually look for ways to prepare for this type of storm. And this year, the sun is moving into an active period called solar maximum and is expected to peak in 2013. Because of this, some U.S. experts estimate as much as a 7% chance of a superstorm happening in the next decade. 7% may not seem like that much, but more than anything, it's the potential effects of the superstorm that has people freaking out. We've seen how power blackouts can cause chaos like a couple of weeks ago when more than 600 million people lost electricity in the span of two days in India, which was the world's biggest power blackout in human history. That was just two days. According to the Academy's report, it could take a year or more to replace 365 of the high voltage transformers that are at risk of failing in the event of a solar superstorm. A year without power in the US would be <laughs> a very, very bad thing. I know! I wouldn't even be able to tweet, dude! I mean, okay, I would be able to tweet until the battery died on the iPhone. And the iPhone battery sucks, Joe! How can we prevent this madness? How? Well, again, there's only a 7% chance it could happen in the next decade. And in an earlier report this year, the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, or NERC, which oversees North America's power grids, actually disputed the Academy's estimate that hundreds of high voltage transformers would be destroyed in a solar superstorm. NERC said a more likely result would be a voltage collapse, which would definitely take out power, but not destroy any transformers. Yes, the Autobots are safe. Oh, wait, uh, hold on a second. Joe, do you think that the high voltage real life transformers are Autobots? Do you think that they're not? Touche. Is right. Still, even with the debate on whether or not a solar superstorm could potentially take out large power grids for an extended period of time, the idea is scary. So scary and possible that Richard Andreas, an energy and environmental security expert at the military's National Defense University, is helping to coordinate an interagency group to deal with the problem. The failure of the national power grid could be disastrous, he says, and you gotta believe those science people. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're, they know their shit. They're smarter than us. Oh yeah. And now for the question. Are you prepared for a large scale disaster? And if nope. so- Nope. Uh -uh. I'm dead. You're not? I got a, a rack of water in my car's trunk. That's it. <laughs> I've got a blanket and a pancake syrup. We're dead. Or we're, we're drinking we're our dead. pee. If you are prepared for a disaster, what's in your ideal disaster kit? Let us know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, and click annotation for more stories of the day or anything that we've ever covered. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And we're both more than meets the eye.